Your Excellency, President Surabishvili, distinguished participants, it's an honor to address you today at the Tbilisi Women's International Conference to discuss how women can contribute to peace and development, both as individuals and as a community. The ongoing war in Ukraine is causing devastating suffering for the people of Ukraine, including women and children. The economic impacts of the war are profound and go far beyond Ukraine. According to the World Bank's most recent Global Economic Prospects Report, the region's economy is now forecast to shrink by about 3% in 2022, compared with a pre-war forecast of 3% growth. This economic downturn in countries across the region, including Georgia, has negative effects on poverty and vulnerability through its impacts on tourism, remittances, and higher energy and food prices. Addressing the current crisis and supporting a sustainable economic recovery requires the need to stay focused on inclusive and sustainable development. And it requires strong participation of women and women leaders in policy decision-making. Despite high educational achievements, women in Europe and Central Asia face more limited access to economic opportunities than men. The region is characterized by a persistent gender gap in labor force participation, which averages about 17 percentage points. The gap is especially high in Turkey and in the Western Balkans, with 42% and 22% respectively. Georgia has a large gender gap in labor force participation of 19 percentage points. It's only 43% of working age females participate in the labor market. The economic cost of the gender gaps in labor participation in Georgia are estimated at 11% of GDP. Region-wide, the gender gap in labor force participation starts early during a woman's childbearing years and remains throughout her lifetime. A key constraint is lack of access to affordable and quality childcare. After controlling for age, educational attainment, urban and rural location, occupation, and sector of employment, women who do work earn, on average, 30% less than men. In Georgia, female entrepreneurial potential faces several limitations. Only one-fifth of firms have female participation in ownership, and 16% of firms have a female top manager. Access to finance, political instability, and an inadequately educated workforce are identified as the biggest obstacles for doing business by female top managers. At the World Bank Group, we are working with our clients to find innovative solutions to help women and girls fully unleash their human capital and become leaders, entrepreneurs, and agents of change for green, resilient, and inclusive development. In Georgia, the World Bank financed Georgia National Innovation Ecosystem Project, or GINI as we call it. 30% of the businesses benefiting from the program has at least one female founder. Countries striving for strong, inclusive and peaceful economic development need to empower women and ensure equal and full opportunity to be leaders and decision makers. For that, women need to be proactively engaged on all aspects of the development front to ensure long-lasting progress and better outcomes for people. All of us, women and men, countries and organizations must work together to ensure peace, stability, and sustainable and inclusive development. I thank you for listening and wish you a very good event.